Hey guys, welcome back to the app. For today's video, we are going to show you Easy Ads Shopify tutorial. So, if you're interested, let's get started. So, the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go to Shopify.com and log in as your account. Now, in order for you to start using Easy Ads here, we first need to install the actual plugin or app here. Now, in order for you to do that, you need to go to your settings at the bottom left here. And from here, you want to go to apps and sales channels. Now, what we need to do next is just click on the Shopify app store at the top right. Now, from here, let's go ahead and just search the following. It's going to be easy ads and press enter. Now, from here, look for the option that says easy ads for Facebook ads. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, let's go ahead and click on install. Now, by the way, you can actually use this for free, but with limitations. So you can use the free trial here, but after that, you need to pay $29.95 a month. From here, let's go ahead and click on install here. And from here, it might ask us to basically confirm if we really want to continue with the pre plan that is currently available right now on Easy Ads. Now, let's go ahead and click on start free trial here. And from here, we need to approve the free trial. So there's no, or in this, there won't be any charges here. Let's go ahead and click on start my free trial. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on the approve option here. Now there's going to be a 10, a 10 day free trial here on October 37, you need to pay for our following fee. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on approve. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we need to start setting up our easy ads. Now what you need to do here is you just need to basically start connecting your account. Now since we already installed this one, the next thing you want to do is you want to connect. Let's go ahead and click connect Facebook and from here, just click on connect to Facebook. And from here, you want to provide your email address as well as your password and hit on login. Now, in this case, just click on the continue button here once it actually asks you if you want to use your account. And it should actually say congratulations. Now, from here, you can go and exit this one. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to choose our account. So I have multiple ones here that I could actually use. So I have my Facebook profile here. You can go and connect that. You could choose your Facebook page. So I want to use this page here. And I, I can choose my business manager. Again, you can choose the proper one here if that we want. And from here, you can go and choose your Facebook ad account as well. Now, in this case, you might want to basically connect your Facebook pixel uh, data set here. So if you don't have one, you have to basically uh, need to create one. Let's go and click a check here. So it should roll, the, uh, roll uh, load up automatically. But in this case, if you uh, want to choose a different one, so for example, I want to use this one since I think I already have my Facebook. I don't, yeah, so I don't have a Facebook ad account here. You might need to click on create ad account here if you have one. Click on create ad account. And from here, what we need to do is we need to see, oh, choose your currency here first. So let's go and enter our currency. So let's just choose a Philippine peso here. Click on ad account. And from then on, that should create your ad, uh, ad account. In this case, once you've connected your Facebook ad account here, you can go and click on watch how to create Facebook uh, Facebook pixel data set. Click on the go to pixel data set creation. And from then on, let's go ahead and start creating our pixel. Now, in order for you to create your uh, pixel here, what we need to do is we need to access a few things. Let's go ahead and click on view data sets. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the add button at the top right here. And let's go ahead and add a data set. So for example, I'm going to say it is going to be it's a, a sample. Let's go ahead and click on create here, but you can add whatever name you want to use for this one. This is an example, and that should start creating our data set. Now, by the way, make sure that you're in the correct account. So go and click on the top right button here and basically select the correct account that you want to add your data set. Now, in this case, now once you go back into your Shopify page here and click on the check my data set, it should now say, or you should now be able to access your data set or Facebook pixel. Let's go and click on create here and it should start verifying the details or your setup here. And also it might ask you to add your PM meta. So in this case, you can go and go and add PM meta here on your ad account and basically input all the necessary details here. In this case, you want to click on add PM meta on your business uh, account here for Facebook. And from here, you want to go ahead and choose whatever m means you want to pay. You can use your debit or credit card here or your PayPal account. Let's go ahead and click on next here and fill out all the, uh, all the necessary information and click on save to save your payment method. Now, once you've added your payment method, you can go ahead and click on click here to refresh once you add a payment method. 
Now this should actually refresh your ad account and now it should record that you've just added your, in this case, payment method. Now, once it's actually verified, you should be able to see, or in this case, select your products that you want to promote. Now, by the way, you could go ahead and click on the next button at the previous page to continue to this page here. So in this case, you go ahead and click on select all products to promote. You could choose all products here or only some tags, but once you're done, you can go ahead and click on save. Now from here, you can edit your siting here, but it's just optional. You could add your funnel setup here and just a few things. So you could either use the awareness here, consideration, decision, or loyalty. Now, once you've actually added all the necessary changes that you want here, like for example, for decision or awareness, you could go ahead and basically click on the launch button at the bottom right. Now, by the way, you have the creative types here, ad tech. So depending on what you're going to or what you want to achieve here, you should be able to choose whatever you want and also use the uh, following ad text or in this case, change the text itself. But once you're done, click on launch. And from here, it's going to ask you if you understand the easy ads does not change me for any, uh, charge me for any ads that I pay my ad spend directly to Meta. So if you want to uh, agree to that, you can go and I understand. And from here, you could go ahead and change a few things as well. Like for example, the launch, the audience targeting, the age, the age from, to, and gender, location, languages, and interests. So it's really important that you specific a specific group here to really focus on that groups that you want to uh, basically target for your ad. Now, in this case, once you provide all the details here, so I use location. So for example, I want to say, this is going to be this for this specific location here. So going to choose this one. And from here, I want to specify the following ages here, all genders. And in this case, you could go and click on the launch my ads section. And from here, it should say easy ads is creating your funnel. In this case is start seeing your products, setting up your advertising funnel and creating ads for on Facebook and Instagram. So this might take a few minutes, but once it's actually done, you could go and click on go to your dashboard and basically start a base, uh, basically managing your ads. So you should be able to see your current ad spending, your impressions, your clicks, your revenue, and products you uh, that you have categories. So you could add your categories here as well. Now you could add a new funnel as well if you want to, and you should be able to see your uh, current campaigns, your automations if you want to, and yeah. So in this case, you should see a few things like decision, if you want to disable or enable them, like the cost per clicks, generated revenue, impressions, and ad spends. Now, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and start using it as you would. And if you want to change some settings about your specific can campaign, you can go ahead and click on settings here. And basically, choose meta account, advertising funnel, you have audience targeting, image customization, product customization, and promoted products. So if you want to change it, like for example, promoted products, you can go ahead and choose this one and choose the promoted products. Now, if you choose, for example, your meta account here, you can change a few things on your meta account if you want to, as you can see right now. Now, also, if you want to uh, change a few things on your daily budget, you can go and click on edit here to change the daily budget. And from there on, click on update daily budget. Now, in this case, if you want to turn, uh, turn off a specific campaign here, you can go and click on turn off to disable it. And from then on, that should now be disabled. And yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So those are the basics on how to use your easy ads here and basically how to set them up. In this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.